Now let's talk more on the bearer ceremony of Lieutenant General Tariq Labaja, uh, the CEO, Security Watch Africa, Patrick Agbambo, is joining me. Thanks so much for joining us on TVC News at 1. Uh, as the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant, Lieutenant General Tariq Labaja is being buried. Could you uh, briefly highlight the key milestones in his career that defined his leadership and legacy within the Nigerian Army? Uh, thank you so much. Um, the biggest leg legacy, I would say, that uh, the late uh, Chief of Army Staff, uh, Lieutenant General Tariq Abdul Labaja, left all through his service was issue of paying priority to training, retraining and retraining and training, and also the welfare of all officers and soldiers that worked under him. And this um, followed up on, until when he became the Chief of Army Staff, he had the platform to actually show the, the character that he's made of, which is ensuring that the Nigerian Army intensified training and also continue to ensure that the welfare of uh, soldiers and particularly uh, the injured and even the diseased uh, ones uh, got their benefits. Um, that, I'll tell you, it's one uh, character that he had left and the Nigerian army personnel in general uh, will miss him, all true. Well, General Lagbaja was known for his hands-on leadership style, uh, including his participation in drills and field visits. How did these actions influence the overall morale and effectiveness of military operations uh, during his tenure? Thank you. Um, I personally had known him right from when he was a, a battalion, uh, in charge of a battalion to becoming a brigade commander. And all through, um, he's particularly interested in ensuring that he leads from the front. He leads in all operations. Um, he, he was not a commander who would send it, uh, his troops to go for any operation without being there physically to ensure that uh, things uh, were done perfectly. And no wonder uh, that's resulted to all sources, all the operations he participated in. Uh, successes uh, were recorded. And um, I tell you that um, Again, he also recorded a milestone, uh, which one of his classmates, uh, Major General um, Aligwe, did say yesterday, Chris mm -hmm. Aligwe did say yesterday, that uh, he remains on record to be the only officer so far, and I'm, sh I'm very sure of that, uh, who had commanded two battalions, commanded two brigades, yeah. commanded, I uh, don't know, the general officer commanding two uh, divisions. So, and nobody, nobody had been uh, had that opportunity. Yeah. But he got this opportunity as um, a free gift, but because of his hard work and his emphasis on operations. Mm. Mr. Agbambo, because of our time, very quickly, uh, General Agbaja's leadership went beyond uh, traditional military boundary, boundaries as seen with the establishment of the Army's aviation wing and um, the acquisition of attack helicopters. Uh, quickly talk to us briefly, if you can, how these innovations transform the operational capacity uh, capacity of the Nigerian army? Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's, thank you so much. Um, that's one aspect that uh, we can't also take away from because uh, he's always thinking out of the box, always looking at what will enhance their efficiency. And I tell you that each, each time there is any situation, he already knows what will be done. He calls his commanders, you know, on the field to say, listen, you go ahead and do this and do this, whatever you need to ensure that your work is easier, let me know, I will go ahead. And he not only making sure that he acquire all these things, he made sure that even the vehicles that were damaged were all fixed. He never spared anything to ensure that Nigerian Army didn't uh, lack anything that would make them more efficient. Imagine uh, an uh, MRAP that would have caused the country yeah. Hundreds of millions of naira were just fixed. Was just fixed for just twenty million naira. That's right. That is uh, mass and awesome, really. Mm. Uh, so, um, so much is is what he is embodied in that in the man, Lieutenant General uh, Tarid Abiola right. and the country as a whole.
We miss him. Absolutely. We believe that there is so much that he will be remembered for, you know, in the course of his service to the nation. But then we have to quickly leave it here. CEO, Security Watch Africa, Patrick Agbambo. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you. Thank you.